Part two, what's in my camera case, wedding edition. Hey guys, and welcome to part two of what's in my camera case, wedding edition. If you have yet to see part one, I highly suggest you click the top right section of this video and go watch part one before you watch part two. In part two, I'm gonna be covering all of the items that I use to help out throughout the day, to help me make better pictures and that I find valuable. If you decide to purchase any of the items that I have here in this video using the links below in the description, just know that I'm not sponsored in any way. And that by using the links in this video, you guys are helping this channel with commission-based sales at no additional cost to you. All right, so let's start with the first item. So you get to the wedding and the bride is getting ready and you're setting up your camera and you're pulling out all of the essentials that you need to start getting preparation or detail shots, right? For the detail shots, I usually try to find like either a bridesmaid's dress, which is what is going to be my background or lay flat background for the purpose of the detail shots. Why do I use the bridesmaid's dress? Really simple. Usually the bridesmaid's dress matches the color scheme of the wedding. So it just works perfectly whenever it comes to the detail shots. Now let's say for example, you can't use the bridesmaid's dress and you have to use some sort of flat area in the location that you are in. Well, ribbons come in handy. I usually use the material that I have here. Um, it comes in different colors. You can always use these for the wedding details if you wanna add a little bit more flair. I have these glass squares. I have them in various sizes. This is usually uh, good. You can just stack them on top of each other and create a more of a floating kind of look. All right, for my videographers, and of course photographers, this little piece right here is super nifty. Uh, you know, most of the time when I'm working with other videographers that I haven't worked with before, they're like, hey man, do you have a quarter or something that I can use to kind of like tighten or loosen uh, the bottom piece of my camera so I can put it on my tripod? And I'm like, nah, this little piece right here helps out with that exact situation. Um, and there's a few other pieces here that help out as well. Bottle opener, and it also serves as a keychain holder. All right, guys, real quick, let's just talk about how you can support my channel. Two ways, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell so you can get notifications every single time I drop a new video. Another way that you can support this channel is by going to shootwithraystore.com and purchasing some of my merch, just like this t-shirt right here. This is the support Shoot With Ray t-shirt or this hat and many more, along with my presets that can be of value to you. So that way you can edit quickly and efficiently, just like me. So don't forget to visit the merch store, shootwithraystore.com, Go check it out. All right guys, so we're still at prep, right? Now it's time to hang the dress. If you don't happen to have one of those lucky venues or beautiful venues and you're like, where do I hang this dress? Then you can easily use command strips. This thing here is a lifesaver. You take out the sticker, place this section on the wall, and then this section here, take out that sticker, place it behind the command strip holder, and then, you set it on the wall. Follow the instructions because every wall is different. Some of them might not last long. So just make sure that you follow the instructions on the packaging so you know exactly what you're doing. This is the other hanger option. This here has a suction cup on it. So you just stick this on the glass and you then apply it and you can hang the dress on the glass for a few minutes and you're done. Take it off and you're done and you can keep reusing it. All you have to do is just keep wetting the back with some water. All right, so I don't have it here with me, but as you can see here on the screen, this is amazing. This is the trick right here. You grab a little piece, you roll it right under the ring, and then you set the ring where you want it to stand. And then you get those overhead shots of the ring. That's the secret right there. Never know when you're gonna need one of these. But for my international photographers, make sure that's not on your carry-on. <laughs> All right, guys, so for the ring shots, when you wanna get super creative with it and you wanna add some fog or some smoke effects, this is one of my favorite products, the Atmosphere Spray. I usually use this from time to time to create those cool, smoky and foggy effects, especially with the ring shots. All right, you know when a groom or groomsman is hungover and their eyes are super red? Give them some of this. For dry, red eyes, clear eyes is awesome. You know, I don't think it's a necessity, but it's good to have. I even use it on myself sometimes. So if your eyes are red or they're super dry, just use one of these, one or two drops will do. All right, so this bracelet right here usually goes on my wrist. This is called the Popple. The Popple is the best digital business card out there. You know how many times people ask me for my business card and either I don't have them or they're just far away from me. But then when I do have business cards, no one asks for them. Yeah, I got tired of that too. 
All you have to do is take the popple, you slide it on top of the phone. You're gonna get that notification right there. You click it, it's gonna open up your profile and they have all of your information, your website, your Instagram, they can save your contact. Get yourself a popple. Save some money by using my code. The link and all the information is in the description. So in part one of the video, I mentioned that I carry chargers and also a mobile battery charger. This is very useful in case your phone dies and you need to But I completely forgot to include the fact that I have one of these. It's the MagSafe charger for the iPhone. So if you're an iPhone user, you just attach this to the back of your phone and it charges it on the fly. And since it's magnetic, you can just attach it and put it in your pocket and it's gonna charge your phone while you're walking around working. Do you travel for your weddings? I do too. So for my international photographers, this comes in clutch. This is the European version of a plug. I, I don't know the name. <laughs> so basically what that does is it converts any of your normal plugs into European plugs. All right, for my photographers and videographers that are shooting all day, did not eat breakfast or maybe you skipped breakfast. Hey, these bars definitely help. Really good, they keep. Hey Christy. How are you? Doing good, how about yourself? Three hours later. <laughs> This will fill you up for a few hours until it's dinner time. So keep one or two of these in your bag. It always comes in handy. All right, so now we fast forward all the way to the reception. You know, most of the time you get those guys who want to do the cigar shots. You know how many times I've done cigar shots and they've never had a cigar cutter or a lighter? Well, come on. Yeah, carry one of those. And also a torch. Yeah, carry a torch. <laughs> All right, so I don't think this is super beneficial, but I mean, I've had it, I've, I carry it with me sometimes and it comes in handy sometimes. This is just pretty much, it's a little mini blower. It helps with hair shots, moving fast and, and movement of the hair while you're shooting it or cigar shots and you kind of want to displace the smoke. Same thing for the ring shots. This thing right here. This is good. Not a necessity, but this is good. All right guys, last but not least, there are some of us who have very fragile hearing. So I don't use this all the time, but there are certain occasions when I do. This is simply a case that contains earplugs. Now, sometimes weddings can get really loud. And if you wanna save your hearing, you want one of these. It's just basically two earplugs that you can put on your ears. When you're working a loud wedding and the speakers are blaring and the bass is just too much, you can put them in your ears, you can kind of hear everybody else out there. But at the same time, you're saving your hearing. And it comes in a nice little case. Just put them back in there. Now, all of these items that I just described here in this video are all in a small little case that I keep in my car. The ones that I use the most are in my secondary case. So from the previous video, part one, I have the 300 case by condition one, which carries all of my lenses, my equipment that you will see in that video. But I also have another 300 case by condition one that contains all of my lights and some of these accessories. All right guys, there we have it. This is part two of what's in my camera case, wedding edition. You guys just saw a whole bunch of stuff that I use on weddings to either help me with my pictures or just for convenience throughout the wedding day. I hope this video is useful for you. If you're interested in any of the products that I showed in this video, hit the links in the description. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and click that button right now. Give me a like. Give me some feedback or questions in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help you out with it. Hit that bell so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I can't wait to the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Awesome. <laughs>